Raindrops aren't as crystal clean as they seem. In fact, they're a little bit dirty. Microscopic dirt particles from the Earth get blown high into the atmosphere. And when they get up there, it turns out they are just the perfect thing for water vapor to condense onto. If you ask the Bureau of Meteorology, they'll tell you these particles, they make the perfect seed for clouds, which help to make rain droplets form. When water is a vapour, the individual molecules move so quickly and so erratically, they find it really hard to line up in, in just the right way to form bonds and turn into a liquid. Instead, they find it much easier to condense onto one of these microscopic particles. It's called a cloud condensation nuclei. In order to make a cloud, you need lots of these tiny little rain droplets. And that means you need lots of nuclei to get things started. When you have enough of them, that's a cloud. Add more and more rain droplets and the cloud can get larger and larger. When there's enough of them, they start bumping into each other faster than they can evaporate. And that makes raindrops that can grow larger and larger until they're big enough to survive the fall all the way down to the earth. There are gajillions of these particles in the atmosphere. They're things like dust, dirt, pollen, pollution, plant fragments, mushroom spores, even bacteria. Some scientists think that some types of bacteria and mushroom spores may have evolved to be the perfect cloud condensation nuclei so that they can build a raindrop around them to help them get back down to Earth. You may have noticed there aren't that many dirt particles or mushroom spores at sea, but there are plenty of clouds. So what is it that makes a cloud in the ocean? Sea salt. When sea water from big ocean waves gets blown up into the air, some of it can evaporate, leaving behind a tiny particle of sea salt just suspended in the air. Now that tiny speck of sea salt makes the perfect condensation nuclei. So why don't we just throw all these rain-making particles over the areas that need rain the most, like our dry farmlands? We actually have been trying an experiment done since World War II. It's called cloud seeding. We take chemicals like silver iodide or dry ice, we've even tried to use table salt, and pilots put them in a plane and take them up to release them high in the atmosphere. All those chemicals can be shot into the air from the ground. The physics is sound, but it's really hard to verify the success of these experiments. And that's because the conditions you need to make cloud seeding work happen to be the exact same conditions you need to just get a normal cloud. Plus, it's also really expensive to keep making all these chemicals just to catapult them into the air. So, while we keep plugging away trying to figure out these experiments, I reckon we're lucky that Rain's willing to get a little dirty to help it get down.